Hi everyone. So today we are uh, going to discuss about the stress tensor and how to use the uh, stress tensor to plot Mohr circle or to calculate the principal stresses using the three dimensional stress tensor. Uh, so basically there will be two part of this lecture series. In this part we are going to discuss about the usefulness of stress tensor uh, with a two dimensional example. And in the, uh, in the in the second part we'll discuss about the three dimensional uh, uh, stress uh, stress tensor uh, with a model to understand. Uh, so as uh, we can see, there is a cube with some uh, stress notation. So the sigma x x, sigma y y, and sigma z z. That means uh, that means these uh, these uh, the three stresses uh, uh, are actually normal stresses acting perpendicular to the face of the cube, and the uh, and the rest of the st uh, stresses like uh, uh, sigma y z sigma y x sigma z y sigma z x sigma x z and sigma x y these are the shear stresses acting uh, parallel to the uh, face of the cube so uh, so actually what we have is actually uh, uh, three normal stresses like sigma x x y y and z z and six set of shear stresses that is sigma x y y x y z z y z x and z y and one thing here to uh, uh, to note is that the magnitude of sigma x y is equal to the magnitude of sigma y x, but they act uh, opposite to each other. So, uh, what we actually study in our regular uh, classes is that uh, these uh, x y, y x, and y z and z y they are equal and opposite. That's why they cancel uh, each other, and uh, we just uh, put zero in these uh, places. But in this lecture series, we will not put 0 or will not cancel these x y and y x values uh, instead we will uh, keep some values of x y and y x and we will try to understand that uh, what kind of changes actually occurring to the object after experiencing this set of normal and shear stresses. So uh, this is the common uh, stress tensor sigma i z where i is equal to i, I is the orientation of the surface and j is the direction of the force. So uh, sigma x x y y and z z uh, these are in the corner and the rest of the stresses that is x y x z y x y z z x and z y these are the uh, shear stresses. So let us try to understand the uh, use of stress tensor with this uh, a small example. So let us consider uh, we have a two dimensional stress condition as uh, uh, 20, 60 and uh, 60. 180. That means uh, the face of this square, uh, this face of the uh, of the square is actually experiencing uh, 20 mega Pascal. That is the normal stress is 20 mega Pascal, and the shear stress is 60 mega Pascal. And uh, this face is experiencing 180 mega Pascal and 60 mega Pascal. So if we we'll, uh, try to draw the Mohr circle, uh, Mohr circle from uh, this information. First, we uh, need to consider uh, that uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the shear stress direction is anti-clockwise and another one is clockwise. Uh, we can uh, uh, take uh, clockwise as uh, positive and anti-clockwise negative. But in this in this situation or in in this uh, example, I have uh, considered uh, the anti-clockwise as positive and the clockwise is as negative. So. Uh, so, okay. So uh, this phase actually, this phase uh, we are experiencing 60 mega Pascal in anti-clockwise di uh, direction. So we have 20, 60, but uh, in a positive direction. And uh, uh, this phase actually 180 and 60. So 180 and 60, but uh, this 60 uh, in the negative direction. So I have already I have already uh, drawn those points in a x y coordinate system. So where x is equal to a normal stress and uh, y is uh, shear stress. So here we have 20, 60, and here 180 and 60. So we'll try to fit a circle. Okay, okay. So it's fine. Uh, and Somewhere here is the center of the circle 
and uh, if you try to uh, find the uh, what is the coordinate of the center of uh, center of the circle uh, uh, of the circle so we need to add the x coordinate by 2 and y coordinate uh, we need to remember that this one is 60 and this one is uh, actually minus 60 that means in the opposite direction so 60 plus minus 60 that is 60 minus 60 by 2 so this one is uh, uh, 200 by 2 and uh, 0 that is 100 0. so the coordinate, coordinate of the center is actually 100 and 0 again so now in this uh, in this in this right angle triangle uh, this length is actually uh, 80 because this one is 180 and the center is at 100 so this distance is actually 80 and this vertical distance is 60 so uh, this one uh, will be the square root of 80 square plus 60 square that is 6400 plus 3600 that means 10 root over of 10 uh, 10000 that is 100 so the length of the radius so the length of the radius is, is 100 mpa so if we will add if we will add 100 to the uh, to the center we can get that the one of the principal stress is actually 100 plus 100 that is at 200 that means uh, the the center is at uh, 100 and the length of the radius is 100 so 100 plus 100 is equal to 200 and another one is 100 minus 100 that is 0 so we need to shift our uh, coordinate system so so this is actually much easier so we have so we have uh, two principal stresses one is uh, 200 and another one is 0 mpa okay again we need to calculate what is the angle between the older one and the newer one that means what is the angle between the older y axis and the newer y axis which can be defined as uh, this angle which is uh, 2 theta so uh, in this uh, right angle triangle tan 2 theta uh, is equal to okay 60 by 80 it is 3 by 4 that means uh, 2 theta is equal to tan inverse 3 by 4 or theta is equal to 1 by 2 tan inverse 3 by 4 uh, which is actually 18.43 so we are getting uh, one angle 18.43 and uh, uh, getting two uh, principal stress uh, stress values as 200 uh, and uh, 0 ohmpere so actually what is the uh, physical significance of these uh, uh, values is actually now previously we had we had a square just like this but now it's being tinted like uh, okay so like this uh, in this uh, situation this experience of 20 here and 180 here and 60 here and 60 here okay but in this condition or uh, and also the y axis actually in uh, in this direction and x axis in this direction but in this condition what happens is actually the principal stress that is this one is 200 mpa and this stress is actually 0 mpa so this one is 0 this one is 0 and this one is 200 mpa and the newer y axis is and x axis are in this direction which uh, i have uh, denoted as uh, x dash and y dash and uh, the tilt angle actually the tilt angle actually from uh, square 1 to square 2 is 18.43 that means the uh, older y axis is actually being tilted uh, 18.43 degree to form the newer uh, y and x axis or x and y axis okay so now let's try to solve this problem by uh, the, by using the uh, stress tensor eigen value and eigen vector so uh, if a is our matrix then according to uh, the equation of eigen value a minus lambda i and this determinant is equal to 0 where lambda is our uh, eigenvalue. Okay. So 
here we have our stress uh, a matrix we have 20 180 60 here and 60 here okay so what, what shall i do is that 20 minus lambda 60 60 and 180 minus lambda is 0 okay so the equation would be uh, the 20 minus lambda into 180 minus lambda uh, plus a 60 square is equal to 0 which is uh, uh, 3600 0 minus uh, 20 lambda minus 180 lambda plus lambda square minus 60 square is equal to 0 60 square 3600 cancel each other and lambda square minus 200 lambda is equal to 0 so lambda into lambda minus 200 is equal to 0 so lambda will be 0 or lambda will be 200 so can you remember that uh, that uh, these values we have already uh, uh, calculated from the Mohan circle and uh, here in the in the uh, stress tensor or uh, from the eigen value we are also getting the same value that is lambda is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 200 that is the principal stresses acting on the uh, uh, on the cube or on the uh, square so uh, uh, this is the uh, this is the usefulness of eigenvalue that we can easily calculate the uh, the principal uh, the principal stresses uh, and also the direction or the angle uh, the 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 older y axis or the older one is actually being tilted to form the newer one so in order to find that particular angle we need to calculate the eigen vector so we need to calculate the eigen vector for each eigen value that is for lambda is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 200 so okay so the uh, the matrix that we have is actually a is equal to 20 uh, 180 and uh, 60 and according to the uh, eigen vector uh, equation uh, 20 180 into x y is equal to lambda that is the eigen value x y so 20 for uh, lambda is equal to 0 we are actually calculating this for lambda is equal to 0 uh, lambda is equal to 0 so 20 x plus 60y is equal to 0 that means 20x is equal to minus 60y uh, x is equal to minus 3y so uh, for a value of y is equal to 1 x is equal to minus 3 so the first uh, uh, stress tensor is uh, minus 3 1 we can write it as uh, minus 6 2 or uh, minus 9 3 or else we can write it uh, as uh, 3 minus 1 uh, oh, whatever uh, uh, because we are uh, changing uh, all bo both the sign and the magnitude of the uh, like uh, 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 the eigen vectors so okay if uh, we'll take as a 3 minus 1 for our convenience uh, again we'll calculate for lambda is equal to 200 so this will be 20x plus 60y is equal to 200x and 60y is equal to 180x so y is equal to 3x so uh, for a value x is equal to uh, okay uh, 1 we can get uh, y is equal to 3 so the uh, second uh, eigen vector is 1 and 3 so we will try to plot this value and try to calculate the angle between the newer one and the older uh, one okay uh, and another thing is uh, actually we are only using the uh, like upper row but if uh, you will try to calculate for the second row you will also get the same value you can also try it yourself so okay, 3 minus 1 and 1 3 so we have 3 minus 1 and 1 3 so in a x uh, y coordinate system first thing is 3 minus 1 so here 3 and uh, minus 1 so somewhere here 
and one three so one and here maybe three so uh, somewhere here so if we we'll join join the line okay so now this is this one is the y dash and this one is the x dash so you can see that this angle is actually 90 degree that means the angle between x dash and uh, y dash is actually 90 degree but it is the angle between y and y dash so we need to calculate this angle that is theta so in this right angle triangle this one is 1 this is 3 so a tan theta is equal to okay 1 by 3 so theta is equal to tan inverse tan inverse 1 by 3 which is actually actually 18.43 so this is the same angle that we have already calculated from the Mohs circle so uh, this is the usefulness of uh, uh, eigen value and eigen vector or stress tensor so in the next uh, uh, video we will try to uh, understand the three dimensional stress tensor and uh, uh, how the, how to use the eigen value and eigen vector to know the principal uh, stresses uh, and also the train and plunge of the all the uh, three axes uh, in a uh, broad spectrum uh, so thank you for your uh, patience